What's up, Phoenix High School, and welcome to another episode of PHDV. Try to actually pay attention to this one. I'm Ashley King. And I'm Tonali Rojas. We have a, lot of, a load of announcements, oh. so let's hop into it. Oh, kitty. <laughs> First oh, off, Miss Campbell is having a toy and canned food drive. Students can donate new unwrapped oh, no. toys <laughs> or non-perishable food items to help make a child or family's holiday a little brighter. Toys will be going to Toys for Tots, and food will be given to a local food bank. Donations will be accepted through Wednesday, December 17th. Drop-off boxes can be found in Ms. Campbell's room just as you walk in. See Ms. Campbell with any questions. Thank you, PHS, for your donations. Because of you, Christmas will be a little brighter for local children. Students and staff, our student-run company has some great sunbeam products ready for you for holiday needs. They are selling a bag of beans for two fifty, calico rice for two fifty, whole tomatoes for two fifty. And, Laura, and chopped tomatoes for two fifty. Large holiday gift boxes for eleven dollars, and two large boxes for twenty. See Mrs. Gore or Mr. Keith for an order form if you are interested in purchasing any of these items from our Sunbeam company. FFA will be having their annual Christmas party Wednesday, December seventeenth, at six p.m. in Mr. Kennedy's room. This is the potluck, so if your last name is A through L, please bring a side dish. And if it is, if it is M through Z, please bring a dessert. We will go caroling around Phoenix and then have a gift exchange, so bring a wrapped gift of a value of no more than $5. This party is our December meeting as well. FFA members and students who want to join FFA, please attend our meeting right at 6 p.m. Also, seniors, Financial Aid Night and the FAFSA workshop is tomorrow night, December 9th at 6.30 in the Commons. We, will have, a we have a segment to tell you a little more about it. Roll it. Oh, so cold in the school hallway. thing going for you? Oh, not good. I can't go to college without getting out a bunch of loans. There's not many scholarships I qualify for. You know there's financial aid night this coming December 9th, right? Well, what? Are you serious? Oh, golly gee, that's wonderful. Yeah, it's December 9th, 6.30 in the PHS Commons. It'll tell you all the information you know about financial aid. What about those who only speak Spanish? Not a problem. Anyone who just speaks Spanish will just go to the library. Oh, what, what about those who don't have a single or disabled parent and uh, make enough money that they don't think they would qualify for scholarships? All parents and students should attend, even if they don't think they qualify for any financial aid. Oh, oh, splendid. I think I'll go. What was the time and date for it again? It'll be in the PHS Commons, 6.30, Tuesday, December 9th. Oh, thank you, you kind, kind sir. I mean, ma'am. No problem. I'll see you and all the students and parents December 9th. I'll see you later. Financial Aid Night is December 9th, Tuesday, at 6.30 in the Commons, or in the library at the same time for parents who only speak Spanish. Uber grad ads are a great way for parents, families, and friends to commemorate student achievements and important milestones. You can purchase these online and also directly from your school, but they are due January 31st. To learn more about these, there are papers with more information at the front office, so pick one up. Also, December 19th is the last day for seniors to turn in graduation orders at discounted price. We have a segment about graduation orders. Roll it. Seniors! Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air Hey man, you ready for graduation? Yeah, are you? Yeah, have you got your cap and gown the classrooms order? You were supposed to order those? Yeah, bro, we need to get all orders so we can have cool stuff for graduation. Whoa, how do I give you some of that? Okay, so you know what the office is, right? Yeah, 
Yes. All right, so you have to go up to Miss Merriman and ask her for a graduation slip to get a discount on your, on your stuff for graduation. I know, bro. I know. Do you think they would give me an orange gown? You know, buddy. I don't think so. Seniors, if you haven't ordered your graduation supplies, go to Miss Merriman at the front office to get a discount slip. The discount offer will end December 19th. Speaking of seniors, Dallas Maynard's senior project is running a DOPP kit drive, aka a toiletry drive, for abused and neglected children. There will be a bin in the front office where you can drop off unused items. Dallas will be collecting the toiletries and giving them to child welfare so they can then give them to a child in need. Good items to bring would be shampoo or conditioner, soap, toothpaste or a toothbrush, diapers, baby wipes, bottles, pacifiers, hairbrushes, scrubbies, and dental floss. If you have any questions, contact Dallas Maynard. The yearbook staff would like to see every member of the 2015 class pictured in their senior year in the, se in the senior section of the yearbook. However, to accomplish this, we need your help. To be included in the yearbook, each senior must email a photo of his or her choice to our Jostin's associate, Patty Duncan. While this uh, allows you to have a say in what photo to use, to be included, your photo must be emailed to patty.duncan at jostens.com by January 20th. For more information about this, there are papers in the front office, so go get one. Also, in addition to senior pictures, we are asking you to drop off a baby picture in Mr. Rhodes' room. Thank you, seniors. Students riding skateboards or longboards in the school is prohibited. Anyone who does so will be, have their skateboard taken away and put in the office. It is unsafe to be riding in the building and the wheels have caused damage to the floors and walls. Please be respectful and only ride your skateboard outside the school. Also, La Clinica Services will be operating out of school again on Thursday starting early in the morning around 8.30. See Mr. Akio to sign up. The school is still trying to return lost items left in the commons such as jackets, sweatshirts, bag, etc. The items, will, the items in the lost and found will be sat outside the front office for about a week so you have time to claim your, claim your items. Any items not claimed will be redistributed or given to some other group in need. Also, Community 101 is having a literacy tree to provide books for Christmas presents for Head Start students. The tree is located outside the front office. Each ornament has the age, gender, and language of the student that needs a book. Please pick up an orna ornament from the tree and return the ornament with the appropriate book to Mrs. Cox's room, room N304. Community 101 thanks you for your support. Mediation training is still going on in Mr. Cornett's room at lunch. Be sure to check it out if you are interested. Also, the, the library is still open Tuesday through Thursday from 3.30 to 425 for students who need extra support. There's also a bus to take you home after. Any students interested in traveling to Italy, France, and Switzerland in 2016 come to a meeting in Mrs. Hansen's room on Tuesday, December 16th at 6.30 p.m. This is open to all students, even those who are not taking a foreign language. Art Club will be traveling to Peru spring break next year. Sign up now for a $200 early registration discount and small monthly payments. There will be a parent meeting Wednesday, December 10th at 7 p.m. in the art room for anyone interested in traveling. All National Honor Society members, you must see Mr. Cornett sometime today to pick up your informational flyer on his wall. Thank you. This week's lunch specials are Monday, Pirate Bowls, Tuesday, Grilled Cheese and Fruit Salad and Tomato Soup, Wednesday, brunch, lunch, chicken and waffles with tater tots. Thursday, sloppy joes with seasoned sweet potatoes. And finally, Friday is fiesta mac and cheese with Caesar salad. In sports, last Wednesday, our girls and boys back basketball team played at Ashland. Played Ashland, but fell to the home opener. The boys lost 36 to 44, and the girls lost 42 to 52. On Saturday, our boys and girls basketball team traveled to Sus Susi Law. Sayus Law. Sayus Law, winning on the road. <laughs> But our girls' team won 43-27, while our boys secured a tight victory 29-28 in overtime. Last Friday, Phoenix hosted a wrestling tournament to kick off their season. This weekend, they will be traveling to North Bend. Good luck, Pirate Wrestling. In swimming, our boys came out victorious at Grants Pass High School in their first meet of the season with a score of 270. The girls' team came in third with a score of 163. Congratulations to Ethan, Sh Ethan Shepard for winning the 200 individual and 100 freestyle. Lauren Speaks won the 200 individual medley and 100 breaststroke. Bryce Roy won the 100 backstroke. Good job, Pirates. 
Every Wednesday, Breezy and Leadership will hide a camel somewhere around the school, and the first person to bring the camel to Breezy will win a prize. This week's winner was Brandon Roy. See Breezy to collect your reward. Speaking of Wednesday, DECA will be meeting in Mr. Carvalho's room at 1229. Once again, DECA meet on Wednesday at 1229 in Mr. Carvalho's room. Well, that wraps up our show for this week, Ashley. All that's left is trivia. Last week's question is, when is Mrs. Miss Campbell's towing camp food drive over? And the winner is... No, it's not. Sydney Amundsen in Miss Ingerson's room. You said December 17th. <laughs> Make sure to stick around for the play. No. Come on by Mr. Rhodes' room to collect your prize. This week's question is, when is the last day to turn in graduation orders for a discounted price? Turn in your answers to the folder in Mr. Rhodes' door. Make sure to stick around for the pledge. And as always, it has been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news.